A lot of you guys have no etiquette, look stupid, and do not deserve any respect. In today's video, I will be dissecting a lot of your guys' accounts, comments, and giving you practical ways on how to become respectable, not only in real life, but online. To begin, the reason why I am making this video is that a lot of you guys want to improve yourselves, but by just reading comments, I can see a lot of mistakes and want you guys to fix it in order for other people to not look down upon you. This portion of this video will be regarding the online side, then I will speak about real life. Exhibit A. The problem with this comment is that one, never say PLs or PLs in any situation ever. If you are going to say, please, just write it out fully. PLs just looks very weak and sloppy. Two, don't add a crying emoji as it comes across as just weak and that you are pleading. This isn't to bash on the person who wrote this, but for them to improve so they can become more respectable. Exhibit B, spelling mistakes and grammar and saying bro. Never start any sentence with bro. You just look like you're 12 years old and watch a lot of TikTok. If you are going to write anything online, check before you send. There are usually red underlines. Under misspelt words, you can then click on that word and find the correct version. Spelling mistakes make you seem uneducated and stupid, and the person reading your comment will subconsciously have lower respect for you. Lastly, grammar. Try not to use words like gonna, even though we all use those words, and make sure to read over your comment to make sure it makes sense. Make sure to capitalize the letter I, as I see a lot of you don't. Try to refrain from Ayanokoji profile pictures, anime profile pictures, and weird usernames, as it also makes the person seeing your account subconsciously have lower respect for you. Not all anime profile pictures are bad, but at least have a badass one, if you will have one. Also remember not to ask questions for which the answers are something you can find out yourself. Doing this will lower people's opinions of you. Before you ask people something, whether in real life or online, try Google, try ChatGPT, try figuring it out on your own. Then if all those failed, then I would ask the question. Also, do not ask people for things without providing anything in return. Life is a value exchange. If you bring nothing to the table, then no one will want to do anything with you. So now that's all covered. Let's move into the real life portion. And remember, this is just advice. You don't have to do it. You can continue using bro, crying emojis, saying PLZ, and having an Ayanokoji profile picture. Does not affect me. One, reliability is everything. Be the person who can always be counted on. One of the strongest ways to earn respect is through reliability. Ayanokoji doesn't make promises he can't keep, and he's someone who, when it really matters, comes through. People respect those they can count on when the stakes are high. Why this works. Reliability builds trust, and trust is the foundation of respect. When people know they can count on you, whether for help, advice, or handling difficult situations, they start seeing you as a pillar of stability. Over time, this consistent dependability earns deep respect. How to do it. Make it a point to be dependable, especially in situations where others may flake or crumble under pressure. Always follow through on your commitments, and when you can't, be honest and take responsibility. Whether it's something small like keeping your word to a friend or stepping up in a group project, showing people they can count on you quietly builds your reputation. Two, lead with actions, not words. Show, don't tell. Ayanokoji never boasts about his abilities. Instead, he lets his actions speak for themselves. People respect those who lead by example rather than those who talk about what they could do. Why this works. Actions speak louder than words. Many people talk about what they want to achieve, but few actually put in the work. When you consistently back up your words with action, people will begin to see you as someone who doesn't need to prove anything. This type of quiet competence commands respect. How to do it. Whether it's in your academic life, social circles, or extracurricular activities, always let your results do the talking. If you say you'll help someone or take on a responsibility, don't just stop at the promise. Deliver 
and do so with quality. Over time, your quiet dedication to doing things well will make others respect your ability and work ethic. 3. Be honest. Even when it's hard, integrity builds respect. Ayano Koji may be secretive, but he's never dishonest when it truly matters. His integrity is what sets him apart, and it's a key factor in why people respect him, even if they don't always like him. Why this works. People might not always like the truth, but they will respect you for delivering it. In a world where many people sugarcoat things or avoid difficult conversations, being straightforward, even when it's uncomfortable, shows that you have the strength to deal with reality head on. This kind of honesty builds long-term respect, even if it creates short-term tension. How to do it. Practice being straightforward in situations where others might shy away from the truth. If a friend or classmate is asking for your honest opinion, don't sugarcoat things to avoid conflict. Be tactful, but be real. The more you build a reputation for honesty, the more people will trust and respect you. Four, remain unfazed by drama, stay above the chaos. Ayano Koji has an uncanny ability to remain calm and composed, even when things get chaotic. People respect those who aren't easily rattled or dragged into unnecessary drama. By staying composed, you show that you're capable of handling pressure and keeping your cool. Why this works. Most people get caught up in petty arguments or emotional drama, which only lowers their respectability. If you can demonstrate that you're above the trivial conflicts that pull others down, people will look to you as a stable, mature figure. Respect comes from being the person who remains steady while others are losing their heads. How to do it. The next time you're faced with a tense situation or someone tries to drag you into drama, take a step back. Don't get defensive or reactive. Instead, assess the situation calmly and decide whether it's worth your energy. When people see you as someone who's always in control of their emotions, they'll respect your ability to stay centered in any situation. Five, be humble but firm. Respect comes from quiet confidence. Ayano Koji is never boastful or arrogant, but he's not a pushover either. He knows what he's capable of, and he doesn't feel the need to constantly prove it. True respect comes from this balance, being humble enough to listen, but firm enough to stand your ground when it matters. Why this works? People respect confidence, but they distrust arrogance. Being humble makes you approachable, while firmness shows that you aren't afraid to take a stand when necessary. This balance of humility and quiet confidence builds respect over time, because people see that you're both strong and grounded. How to do it. Practice listening more than you speak, and don't rush to show off your accomplishments. When a situation arises where you need to take a stand, do so confidently and without aggression. People will respect you for knowing when to speak up and when to stay quiet, and they'll trust you as someone who doesn't seek attention for the sake of it. Six, competency speaks for itself. Mastery builds respect. Ayano Koji doesn't just rely on charm or manipulation. His skills and competency make him a force to be reckoned with. Whether it's in academics, athletics, or strategy, People respect those who consistently demonstrate expertise in their field. Why this works. Competency shows that you've put in the time and effort to master something, and people respect those who are good at what they do. Whether it's excelling in a particular subject, sport, or hobby, demonstrating mastery in any area will naturally draw respect. People trust those who are competent because they know they can deliver results. How to do it. Focus on becoming truly skilled in something you're passionate about. Whether it's in academics, athletics, or extracurricular activities, aim for mastery rather than just participation. The more you refine your skills and become proficient, the more people will see you as someone who knows what they're doing. And that earns respect without you having to say a word. Seven, play the long game. Don't chase instant validation. Ayano Koji doesn't seek immediate recognition. He plays the long game. 
Gaining respect isn't something that happens overnight. It's built slowly, over time, through consistent actions and behaviors. Patience is key. Why this works. People respect those who are in it for the long haul, not those who seek quick validation. When you prioritize long-term goals over short-term gains, people start to see you as someone who's serious, dedicated, and thoughtful. Respect comes from consistency and the ability to delay gratification. How to do it. Focus on your long-term goals, whether they're academic, personal, or social. Don't chase instant praise or validation. Instead, let your actions speak for themselves over time. When you consistently show up and put in the work without seeking immediate recognition, people will naturally start to respect your dedication and discipline. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it to the end, my online White Room program is going to have a 50% off sale, which brings it to its lowest ever price. Special exams, classes, AD, and a program that is supposed to bring you to your full potential. All that for dirt cheap, plus check out the landing page to see all the other shit. The code is not lazy all capitals, and I'll write in the description below. Prove that you're not lazy, and beat procrastination by taking one step closer to your full potential.